Now question number three it says suppose Roger has four identical green tennis balls and five identical red tennis balls. In how many ways can Roger arrange these nine balls in a line so that no two green balls are next to each other and no three red balls are together? So first we'll find in how many ways we can arrange these four green and five red balls so that no two green balls are together. So for that, what I'll do is I'll first arrange these five identical red balls. So it can be done in factorial five upon factorial five, which is only one way. So I have arranged these red balls, one, two, three, four, and five. So when I've placed these five red balls, I have these six gaps. So if I'll place these green balls in either of these six gaps, then no two green ball will be together. So this is called as gap method. So out of these six, I'll choose four gaps for these green balls. So it is six C four and then factorial four upon factorial four. So it'll be simply six C four, which is 15 ways. Now from these 15 ways, we need to eliminate or we need to exclude all those cases when three or more red balls are together. So we look at the arrangement again. So this is one, two, three, four, and five. Now we need to place green balls. So if I place these green balls such that one, two, three, and four, now in this case, we'll have three red balls together, or I can place them as one, two, three, four, and another one is so here we'll have three red again and here also we'll have three red again together. So there are three possible configurations where these three red balls are together among these 15 cases. So from these 15 cases, we'll need to subtract three cases where these three red balls are together. So total number of cases when no two green balls are together and no three red balls are together is simply 12. And that's your option number D.